So in this video, we're gonna answer the question, how much can your HOA or condo raise their dues? So as a condo or HOA board, you do have the right to raise the dues as you deem fit. However, you do have to check your association documents to determine if you have any particular limits. As an example, some associations do have within their documents that the board is not permitted to raise the HOA or condo fees more than 15% a year unless there's a membership vote. However, that is not that common in my experience that you see that kind of language uh, within association documents. But once you've checked your association documents, and let's assume that your association documents don't have any limits because I stated earlier that many don't, your association board does have the right to raise it as much as they deem fit based on the needs of your community association. Now, I know some people may have challenges with this and I can completely understand and empathize because how can a board have so much power? But ultimately, the board needs to do what's right for that particular community. So in today's day and age, we're having to deal with the new legislation, with the tragedy that occurred at Surfside, and there's many associations that are having to increase their maintenance fees 30, 40, and 50% to be able to keep up with the new legislative changes of implementing reserves. So if you're a board and you're considering increasing the maintenance fees, I highly suggest that you contact your association's attorney to confirm if your documents have any limitations. If your documents do not have any limitations and you need to increase those fees significantly, also understand that there's certain requirements that you must follow. For instance, if you're increasing the fees via budget or via budget amendment, you are gonna be required to provide a minimum of a 14-day notice advising the residents of this potential increase. So for the board members that are in a very difficult position or they have their backs against the wall because you have to increase the fees either because of the new legislation or you're finding that your association just doesn't have enough money to run the day to day, what I tell you is that you need to make the right decision for the entire community. You can't make the decision just because you have a group of individuals that have a fixed income. As a leader of your community, you have to understand that you've been elected to this position and being a leader means that sometimes you have to make these difficult decisions. So what I highly recommend is if you're needing to make this decision, don't just wait till the last minute to communicate it to the residents. Make sure that you're holding town halls, that you're communicating to your community as towards why you need to increase the association fees a significant amount. It's only right that you communicate with your residents so that they can prepare or take whatever steps they need to take to be able to fund uh, those increases that the board is proposing to pass. If you have any questions when it comes to increases or how to be able to put together a budget or a special assessment, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to guide you, provide you some templates, and you can do so by visiting our website, managedbyaffinity.com, and clicking that contact us. Someone from our team will reach out to you and see what we can do to either assist you or point you in the right direction. If you've liked this video, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. Make sure to give us that thumbs up as we have weekly videos coming out. I'll see you in our next video.